Welcome back. I'm Sam Hedden. Nick Kaufman is one of the founders of Crypticon. This year marks 14 years of this convention. We had a chance to sit down and talk with him a little bit about that. We're here with Nick Kaufman, who is the organizer of Crypticon 2019. We have so many great fans that, you know, over the years that have become friends from years and years of, of uh, you know, coming to the show. This is our 14th year, so uh, built a lot of uh, friendships and lots of cool collaboration on, on things. A lot of those people that were early attendees are now part of the staff and and uh, we're a big happy family. So people here. have grown up with the Crypticon. They have. Oh, well, actually, uh, in fact, one of our uh, Longtime contestants in the cosplay contest as a child. I mean, he won every year. He now just went off to college. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, just growing and with the community. And, and uh, you, you were know, involved in the first one, or you? Uh, oh, you yeah, created? I started it. Yep. Okay. And, yep. and how many people were on your staff when you started it? And where was the first well, one? Uh, well, the first one was held uh, out in Medina. Medina, Minnesota. Yeah, so that the uh, Medina Ballroom. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Me and and I, I got to bring up my partner Chaz DeMoss, who uh, we uh, we started it together. Uh, he is now running the Kansas City show, um, and we also have a Seattle show too. So that's kind of a an offspring one. So um, when you see the words Crypticon, it's you. Because you yep. you've uh, marketed out. that, yep. and, and uh, wow! So Kansas City and where else? Seattle, Seattle. Seattle yep, it's a wonderful show. What is the process of like getting someone like Jesse Ventura or someone who's really high end? I know you, you had the Twin Peaks uh, yes. approach this time. Yep. Do you approach them? Did they approach you? How does that all work out? Well, there are appearance managers that are out there that you, you know, when you're doing this, been doing this for a while, you get to know a lot of people and and. Uh, yeah, you uh, talk to them. They have lineups of uh, people that uh, are, you know, celebrities, and you kind of—it's kind of like shopping. You know, you uh -huh. say, "This is what I'd like to have this year," and you. you know, I'll take the three approach. people from Twin Peaks, but exactly. the guy, the Battlestar Galactica, can wait another year. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> That's kind of it. And well, sometimes, you know, it's timing too, because you got to look at it like, okay. Uh, they're busy this year. They're already booked somewhere. So okay, I got to go a different direction. So, or it's you know something's not going to work with the budget. Sometimes it's that you know you got to have stuff that that fits good with what you're what you're trying to do. So. So do you cover the room and the the flight and the food, or what? What is your responsibility for someone like say Cheryl it, Lee? Yeah, it uh, it does depend. Um, you know, they they almost all need a flight. Uh, sometimes car service. But pretty reasonable. I mean, somebody's not going to say, I want $10,000 just to show up and sign stuff for now. Uh, it's more reasonable than that, but it can be very expensive, sure, mm -hmm. sure. And then when you've got a room full of celebrities, they add up a lot. So when you're taking, you <laughs> stack each one up there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you have to be a good, good show to support that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you won't stay open. <laughs> there won't be a, a next year. Keep in my heart, I am a classic horror person, and Carolyn is a classic. Well, I'm, I've been around a long time. Yeah, and, and, and that is, sort of vintage, I would say. Yeah, I, would, I mean, and you're still working, so it's not like... Still working. Yes. I mean, in the States, generally, you're, you're, you're pretty good with us Brits, but, but you're particularly warm and sweet, which is lovely. I like that. Thank you. You made me feel very, very welcome, which is lovely. Okay, well... Uh, we're going to cover a lot of different genres, a lot of different uh, stuff that you've been in. And I'm going to go back to a, an early, early thing here. Um, how many people in the crowd here know that uh, Carolyn's been in another Bond film besides The Spy Who Loves Me? Oh, you do? Of course you do. we got a few. And this was, you, none of you were even twinkles when this was. I mean, I was barely a twinkle. I was a, I was a 16 year old twinkle, but that's a long time ago. Now you did you did the Q and A with Caroline Monroe. Right? Uh, yes, that's really and, the. And you wanted to do you? I chose to do that, um, you know, and I've only done one other one, and it was kind of on a emergency basis. Our sure. person that was supposed to do it 
uh, lost their voice. Oh they were singing in a band the night before, and uh, yeah, they kind of just couldn't talk. So now, in the past, uh, you had uh, the double tree is where it was. It's yeah. been in a, lot, a few different places. We've been in a lot of places. Yes. You have? Yes. Okay. We were at, uh, two of them have been tore down, so. Oh, yeah, wow. the old the old Thunderbird. Oh, was my. Sort of, uh, yeah, we, that was a favorite spot. I, I would have never left there if they wouldn't have tore it down. So. Yeah, it's now it's just too. a big lot. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me mad. We're really excited, and we're very thankful to Nick for allowing us to come in and sit down and talk with some very interesting folks. This has been Sam Hedden with producer Andy Watson. Now you know Nick Kaufman. <laughs> or you can do it your way first, and then you can do it my way. Right? Oh, we'll shut up. <laughs>